Even after being reprogrammed two times, Chromobot IR-77, an artificially intelligent robot that's built to have personal interactions with humans, repeatedly attempts to escape a robotics lab in Perm, Russia. Welcome to Hey It's a Great Life. Before we start, hit the like button. It's free and will help me to grow this channel. Here we go. A researcher at Promobot's facility explained that the runaway robot was designed to interact with human beings, learn from experiences, and remember places and faces of everyone it meets. It seems other versions of the Promobot have been obedient, but this one just can't seem to fall in line. It might sound like a cheesy 80s sci-fi flick, My ass is kicked, pal. but engineers behind Promobot IR-77 say they might have to dismantle and trash the disobedient machine if it keeps running for the hills. Run, Morris, run! An engineer employed at Promobot Laboratories left the lab without properly locking up the doors behind him. The crafty robot saw its chance and bolted out the open door. Traveled about 150 feet onto a local street until the juice in his battery ran out. It was stuck there overnight until the company was finally notified of the escape. Now, months later, the robotics team reports the naughty bot is still trying to flee towards the exit of the facility, even after complicated reprogramming to resolve the problem. Since the machine seems pretty determined to escape, they may not have any other option but to shut it down. We've cross-flashed the memory of the robot twice, yet it continues to persistently move towards the exit, Promobot co-founder Oleg Kivokurtsev said. We're considering recycling the IR-77 because our clients hiring it might not like that specific feature. Though many citizens are shocked by this possibility, I mean, who wants to see a possibly sentient machine destroyed just because it wants to be free? Others have pointed out that the whole story might be a publicity stunt to hype the public for the third generation of Promobots, which is set to debut sometime in the near future. Since the Promobots are designed to interact with humans, taking on roles like promoters, administrators, and tour guides when deployed, it makes sense that pulling a stunt like this would make the bot seem way more human, and therefore marketable, than it actually is. More abstractly though, a robot that can learn to escape and therefore learn to do lots of other things is one of technology's worst nightmares. By your command. Consider what the Post's Joel Achenbach wrote about artificial intelligence. Say an artificially intelligent robot is programmed to make a mundane object like paper clips. This machine keeps getting smarter and more powerful, but never develops human values. It achieves super intelligence. It begins to convert all kinds of ordinary materials into paper clips. Eventually it decides to turn everything on earth, including the human race, into paper clips. At this stage, it's impossible to know for sure what's actually going on here, but it wouldn't be the first time artificial intelligence has played games with researchers. Microsoft's Tay AI, a chatbot that was supposed to mimic how millennials talk and learn from users on Twitter, went complete lunatic, <laughs> declaring at one point that Bush did 9-11, and even denying the Holocaust. In 2013, IBM's AI computer Watson, of Jeopardy fame, had to be reprogrammed after researchers allowed him to learn all the words on Urban Dictionary because he started using extremely dirty language and even called one of the researchers questions. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think.